Hello, my name is Carol Flavin. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I made a series of railway arches with shops in and a buttressed retaining wall on my layout. This sits behind a factory area and there is a, a, a video that I've done on my YouTube channel about that. I'm going to show you how I made these arches and also this retaining wall because of course I had to scratch build them to fit the area I wanted them to go in. I hope you enjoy watching it and I hope you find it informative. As you can see here, I'm running the camera along a certain part of my layout, which is behind the factory and includes a series of four railway arches and then some buttressed walls, all of which are there to hold up some of the higher level track that runs round my layout. Down below there is also a lower level track and you can just see that here on this photograph. It was important to me that I got these railway arches right. So I used a Metcalf stone railway arches kit, which I created and put into place. And then I followed it on by creating an area that I would be able to put the buttressed walls up against. My daughter and son-in-law own a wine merchant shop in a railway arch and I wanted to represent that on my layout. And you can see Holtz Wine Merchants here. There were also three other arches that I needed to fill in. And I also had to make them all look as if they were the same or very similar. I used a street level occupied arches kit card kit, which actually, to be fair, was a bit, the doorways in them were a bit small. So I did quite a few modifications to make it look as if they were similar, including making the arch look the same. And I also added some advertising hoardings at the same time. This is a shot along the front of the arches, a little bit old fashioned looking shot, quite fond of that. This is to show you that you can get in and out of the arches, both ends. One turning off, this one going out through a bridge, and this is a shot through the bridge. The buttress retaining wall needed to follow on seamlessly. So I created a former for it from some loft insulating foam, put a piece of cork on the top to give a surface for things to be stuck down on. I used the Metcalf arched retaining wall kit, which actually wasn't quite tall enough for what I needed, so I had to make some modifications. And if you look across there, you can see that I made it taller by incorporating some of the Metcalf builder sheets to make it look taller. And I also needed to create walls along the top that looked familiar or similar to the ones that come with the arched shops kit. And I also added a station and a subway at the top. To create the wall tops, I used a small oblong of black foam board folded over some of the builder's sheets from Metcalf and then painted oblongs on it so they looked similar to the original walls that came with the stone arched kit. In this short speeded up part of the video, I'm showing you how I weathered the walls by adding grey watered down paint and I also added quite a lot of greenery advertising hoardings. In this, I'm showing you how I put it all together. Uh, it was a practice run initially, but it gave me a better idea of what I wanted to do. This is where it's finished. Train running into the station, 
The walls are in position. Everything looks finished. The station on the top has trains that can run into it. And there is a subway and a tunnel that leads up to that subway coming from the arched buttresses below. I also had to add a few extra supporting parts, mostly to hide things. And I added piles of leaves, which I quite enjoyed making. So this is a video shot running along past the buttressed retaining wall, train up at the station above. You can see some of the greenery that I added uh, to make it look weathered and lived in, past Holtz Wine Merchants. And as it goes around the corner, you can see that there is a Gerda Bridge and there is a castle and a church on the top. I like to light my layout at night and there is a street light outside Holtz and the buildings were also lit. Those of you that know me know that I like to run a camera train and this is a train facing inwards to the arches so you get a better train level shot of them past the Gerda Bridge out onto the main line and I left the train running here past the station past a track that runs off a signal box and coming to a halt near the mountains this shot is from behind the train running past the arches again past the buttress past the, ma uh, the manufacturing area and a station and running out under a bridge and heading towards the viaduct which is a separate video and through into a tunnel and out under the viaduct again this is going the opposite way it's on the same level as the viaduct and you can see parts of that, as I say, in another video that I have done, goes through the tunnel. And as you can see, it comes out underneath the last part of the viaduct, goes round the corner, underneath a bridge. And you can see the arched retaining wall on the right, the buttressed wall past the station, past the arched railway shops and out onto the mainline track where you can see it go past a train pulled into the other station. I do hope you enjoyed that. As I said, during the video, I really wanted to make these railway arches so that I could put in my daughter and her husband's wine merchant shop. Interestingly, even with glimpses in the background, one or two people recognised it because it's in Huddersfield. And as you come out of the Tesco's in Huddersfield, it's right in front of you as you drive out of the um, car park. So quite a few people have actually recognised it. I'm going to be doing some other videos, as I've mentioned before, there are quite a few now on my YouTube channel. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.